Paradise is not paradise for Blake. It was a disaster. Of his own doing, by the way. He laid all the mines and then stepped on every mine in the minefield. Um, just a mess. Obviously, number one, he needs to never go to another music festival. Stay away from Stagecoach. Um, but yeah, he, he created his own love triangle. He was with Christina, was with Kaylin, back-to-back -back nights, not a good look. Uh, apparently, according to Kaylin, said that she was a mistake. Also not a great thing to say to somebody. Um, so, I mean, if, if there are a list of rules, say, let's say 100, he broke 99 of those rules. I, and I don't even know which one he abided by. Complete and utter disaster. And so, is he a bad guy? No, he's probably not a horrible human being. So let's take it easy in the, as far as that goes. He's not the devil, but he really made a lot of mistakes. And we'll see how he comes back from it. We'll see if he can save himself. Um, the bizarre thing is somehow Hannah G gets herself caught up in it and still makes out with the guy. So that's on her. Even while Demi is licking her going, he's a loser. What are you doing? He's terrible. And the next thing you know, Hannah's making out with him. We actually made up shapes this season. Really? And we got to so many sides. Yeah, we, we, it was, yeah. Geometry is not ready for us. <laughs> if, you know, I always look at like a crime scene thing, you know, when you're like, you have a string going from there to there, trying to connect the dots. It would, it, just, it would look like the worst Etch-A-Sketch and, and Light Bright ever of all the things going on this season in Paradise. It gets messy. It's a great season overall because of what Paradise is. And we, we just have a, a who's who, murderer's row of, of contestants this year. It really is a fan favorites. Um, the level of story is incredible from Blake to Clay to, to all these other things. And then socially um, with Demi and what we're going to uh, approach with Demi and, and um, a same-sex relationship. There's a lot. There's a lot to unpack. It is a great season. I'm, I'm not so naive as to think that this is going to be great. Everybody's ready for this. Um, same sex relationships, you know, are, definitely have their time and they need, to, they need to be represented and seen on camera. That would be wonderful. We all believe that. Um, but I'm smarter than that. There's, there's going to be, you know, blowback. There will be negative criticism uh, from all sides and uh, we're prepared for it. I'm, I'm proud of Demi. I'm proud of the way we handled it. Um, clearly it's beyond time to be shown and, and more of that needs to be shown on camera. It's a beautiful thing. And so uh, we just wanted to show that love is for everybody. Paradise works. Okay. Once again, paradise works. There will be love found in paradise. Uh, to what extent? You'll have to wait and see. But it is successful and that's, at the end of the day, in all seriousness, one of the things I love about my job in this show, whether it's The Bachelor, Bachelorette, and very much Paradise, is it works. And it's, we all have fun and we're gonna laugh, we're gonna make fun of Blake, you know, we're gonna cry with Demi and we're gonna go through this very emotional journey. But at the end of the day, it's steeped in the fact that it's sincere and love is found there. And, you know, Jade and Tanner just had a baby in a closet last week. Um, and, you know, Carly and Evan and, and Raven and Adam are engaged and, and Goose and Crystal get married on the show coming up in a week or so. So it works and it's real. And it's fun for me that when I'm standing there at the gates of paradise, you know, these, I'm like, why are you here? And they're like, look, we know these people. You know, these are their friends. It's not like they're watching a movie. These are their friends who've gone off and got engaged and have babies. And so it means a lot to them. And they actually know it works. And so it's kind of cool that they all come back and put themselves out there like this. You know, you're either one of those people that birds of a feather stick together or opposites attract. So I'm, I'm not even sure where they are on that spectrum, but unlikely, maybe the unlikeliest of couples we've ever had. And but maybe that's why it's so perfect. You know, one of the things I've learned over the, you know, all my years of living on this planet and also 17 years of this show of like, you can't figure love out. And that's why the show is so relatable. That's why we all want it. And it's so hard to obtain sometimes. Then you see it and you're like, this makes no sense. These people, like, why would they be together? They, they were villains. Came in really as good stories and villains. And then they end up falling in love and being one of our most endearing couples. That shouldn't make sense. It shouldn't work, but it does. And so that's why I think we all love this show. And I was standing before them in front of God and everybody and happy to marry them. And it was a beautiful ceremony and they're crying and it was weird and uncomfortable and they were awkward because it's Goose and Crystal and they're awkward, uh, but it was awesome. 
Wells is one of my dear friends. Um, I've been talking to him for a while, and he was, he told me he had a ring, he told me he was gonna propose. He was very, uh, he's like, I, I'm just waiting for the right time, waiting for the right time, and he finally did it. And they are, they're awesome together. We're actually going out to dinner this week hey. uh, as a couple, so I'm really excited for them. They're beautiful together. And, and if, if he asked me to officiate, I'd do it. If he asked me to be there, I'll do it. Whatever he needs. If you love that video, you're gonna love everything on the Access YouTube channel, so hit the subscribe button. You can thank me later. Hit it.